with a very vain, self-centered, snobby china doll named Edward. Edward lives with a little girl named Abilene and her wealthy family. Abilene loves Edward very much, but Edward does not have the same feelings for her. She just, he just cares about himself, his looks, his silk clothes, golden pocket watch, and his hat. Possessions are most important to him, not people. In addition to the material possessions he loves, Edward's favorite thing to do is look at his own reflection. Edward is fine with sitting in front of the window to stare at himself because he's that self-absorbed. These are some of the internal and external character traits Edward had in the beginning of the novel. Next, Evelyn and her family go on a cruise. Aveline is allowed to bring Edward alone. On the boat, Edward is being tossed around by two boys named Amos and Martin, who are teasing him. Eventually, Aveline tackles the boys to try to get Edward back. But Edward goes flying into the air and over the railing of the cruise ship. Edward flies overboard into the water and sinks to the bottom of the ocean. Edward was stuck at the bottom of the sea for a long time. He was worried about his clothing and his golden pocket watch more than Abilene. One day he was swept up from the bottom of the ocean by a fisherman named Lawrence. Lawrence picked up Edward and gave him to his wife, Nellie. Nellie immediately loved Edward and put his hands on him. Edward was so grateful to be off the ocean floor and to see the stars again that he he usually never listened to Abilene because he thought her words were pointless. But the text says he listened to Nellie as if his life depended on what she said. Edward never cared about grown-ups or Abilene, but now he cared a lot for Nellie and Lawrence. Unfortunately for Edward, Edward is thrown into a garbage bag and taken to a garbage dump by Lolly, Nellie and Lawrence's daughter. Lolly did this because she was sick of her parents treating a china doll like a real human. She was also mad because her parents were being whispered about by, by the other people in town because they were treating a doll like another child. As time goes on, Edward, Edward is found in the garbage dump by a homeless dog named Lucy. Lucy brings Edward to her honor bowl, a hobo, and they go on many adventures together. Then one night, as they were sleeping in a rail car, a man caught them hitching a ride for free. He kicked Edward down the hill into the woods. In the text, the man says, No free rides for rabbits! Edward is devastated to be separated from more people that he loves. Thrown off the trolley, Edward ends up in the front yard of an old woman's house. Edward finally appreciates all the people in his life and is let down again. In the text it says, Edward is done with love until Bryce brings him to his sister Sarah Ruth. Bryce is the old woman's assistant in her garden. Bryce saves Edward from having a full-time job as a scarecrow and his whole perspective on love changes back again. Sarah Ruth is very sick. She is four years old and she can barely breathe, walk, and talk. Edward loves Sarah Ruth for all his happiness and when she passes away. Edward turns into a sad and depressed China doll because this was the first time he felt true love for someone else. His connection to Sarah Ruth was extra special. With Sarah Ruth gone, Bryce and Edward leave home and go to the city to make money. However, Edward's life changes yet again at a diner in Memphis. 
Bryce and Edward went to Neil's diner. As Bryce walked into the diner, he smelled fried chicken and coffee. It made him feel even hungrier than he, he already was. He couldn't wait to eat. He was greeted by a waiter named Marlene, and Bryce asked to order pancakes, eggs, steak, toast, and coffee. But he didn't have enough money to pay for everything, so the owner got angry. The owner took hold of Edward and hit his head on the corner of the counter. In the text it says, This is what I think of dancing rabbits, and smashed Edward's head into a million pieces. Bryce is in shock, shock and takes Edward to the doll repairman to get him fixed. He doesn't have enough money to pay for Edward's repairs, so the doll repairman said he will agree to fix Edward, but he will keep him in his doll shop to sell. Bryce doesn't have a choice but to give him up. After some time at the doll shop, a young girl named Maggie raced toward Edward while her mother was struggling to close her umbrella. When the woman saw Edward, Edward realized the mother was Abilene. Edward, she said, yes, it is me, said Edward. Yes, 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 it's me. Before Edward's journey, he was blinded by selfishness. After this chain of events, Edward finally knows love and the story comes full circle. Through the experience that happened to Edward on his journey, Edward learns an important lesson about love. He now appreciates and cares for others unlike he used to. He used to be selfish, self-centered, and vain. Now Edward understands what's important in life and what is not.